Well, it's time to get your royalty on again at Central Park as Belvedere Castle prepares to reopen to the public. It's such a great place. It has been closed for more than a year for a major renovation project. I would as usual put Lauren Glassberg shows us how everything old is now new again. The finishing touches are being made at the highest structure in Central Park. For 15 months, Belvedere Castle and its terraces have been upgraded, and its pavilion has not only been redone, it's been completed in the way it was meant to look when it was first designed in 1858. It now has its own tower. It creates a sense of scale to that pavilion, which balances the castle itself, the masonry structure. It kind of anchors this whole spot as the Belvedere, not just the Belvedere Castle. Christopher Nolan, the chief landscape architect for the Central Park Conservancy, says the windows are also an important change. They're now just sheets of glass, allowing for unobstructed views out, and from a distance, they look like empty spaces. It's modern but it's also evocative of what it was historically. You see, this castle was never meant to be an actual building, but a folly, a place to look at or pass through. In the 1900s, though, it was turned into a weather station. And then in the 1960s, the castle was left to languish. The Conservancy returned it to life in 1983 with its first renovation. This newest upgrade cost $12 million and includes repointing, new lighting, and a heating and cooling system. We actually installed a geothermal heating system, which is essentially deep wells into the rock outcrop. So visitors will be comfortable year-round. The Conservancy is also working to make it more accessible so that everyone can take in the beautiful view which is what Belvedere means. The Belvedere attracts almost a million people a year, and we expect people to be flocking here to see this incredibly beautiful restoration. And for the first time ever, the castle will be lit at night beginning June 27th, and then it opens to the public June 28th.